Hi everybody, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Carolyn. So yesterday I showed you how to make a really simple homemade granola for the kids' breakfasts and snacks now that they're going back to school. Today I'm gonna to take that a step further and I'm gonna show you how to make homemade granola bars. And again, you know exactly what's going in them and you know what you're feeding your kids. So, and these are even easier to make than the granola. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So, in the bowl of my mini food prep, you can also use a blender, I have put a half a cup of instant or quick cooking oats. And I have ground them up very fine so that we get like a flour consistency. So you can kind of see how fine that is, okay? Now, to that, we're gonna add there we go, two cups of the quick cooking oats and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and to make sure, <laughs> and a quarter of a teaspoon and actually just maybe a little bit less than a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt and we're just going to give that just a little toss here and then we are going to start with the wet stuff now in here let me move this so you can see in this bowl i have a quarter of a cup of coconut oil and i've put it in the microwave so that it has become liquid. And to this, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of honey a quarter of a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just gonna mix that all up. Get this out of the way here. And give it a good little stir here. And then we're going to add this to the oats in the bowl here. And then we're gonna mix this all up really well. And then what we're going to do is in an eight by eight pan, I'll just talk as I mix here. In an eight by eight pan, we are going to line it with parchment paper. Now parchment paper comes either in sheets like this. You probably wondered why I had that sitting there. So it either comes in sheets like this and you can buy that at the restaurant supply and I do in bulk because it saves a ton of time on cleanup and sticking, it keeps things from sticking. However, if you don't want to do that, you can buy it at Target, the grocery store, Walmart, wherever. And it comes in rolls, just like the aluminum foil and the wax paper. And if those things are sort of eye level, you'll find the parchment probably up higher possibly down low where you need to really bend to get it, but usually it's up higher. And I promise you, it'll save you a lot of time. So this is going to go into the bowl or into the prepared pan here. And you're just gonna spread it out evenly. And then this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes and then it will need 10 minutes on a rack to cool. So here are our granola bars all finished. They have cooked for 20 minutes and then cooled on a rack for about 10 minutes. Now here is why the parchment paper is important outside of just the clean cleanup factor. You, what you're going to do is you're going to lift these right out and look at this the, the pan is very very clean there'll be no scrubbing there and then you're going to cut these into eight 
um, eight bars and just like that. Now you want to do this when they are warm but not hot because they will fall apart. And there goes Kitty again. She's um, making a guest appearance today. And so there you go. These are going to be great in the kids lunch boxes. Now you can also cut them with a pizza cutter if you prefer. This is a, a, um, another handy tool for this kind of task. So there you go. Anyway, these are going to be great in the kids lunch boxes and so much healthier than the ones you can buy in the store. So give these a try. Again, super easy and I know you've got